Invictus games are no match for her. There's a lot of resentment against Meghan Markle for making the games about her. Thank you for visiting K. Middleton and the Queen News Channel. You can be sure that Meghan Markle won't miss any opportunities where she may be photographed. Two days after Meghan left for Germany to join Harry at the Invictus Games, that is what we have been witnessing. Tom Bauer, a biographer, has commented on this and claimed that Meghan's control destroys Harry's inner kid and spoils his one good effort. According to Mr. Bauer, I would really like to concentrate on the purpose of this event and how awful it is that these two did the exact opposite of what they were supposed to be doing. Keep in mind the true heroes who have made such a difference. Harry's own event was upstaged by it, and it wants to take over. Whoa, what does he do? Let it ruin the celebration for him and everyone else and interfere with his business. This happened when Meghan traveled to Dusseldorf to participate in Harry's Invicta scams. She was clearly showing her commitment to the United States by wearing a stars and stripes emblem. She brought her own photographer to take all the shots, Mr. Bauer said, but Meghan doesn't know how to share the spotlight. Selfish people just care about themselves and want to succeed at any costs. It's not Meghan's show, and it shouldn't ever be. Please keep in mind that these games were originally intended for their television show. Invictus has, I'm sorry to say, been ruined by their ego, urgent desire for money and attention, and ego boosting, according to Mr. Tom Bauer's conclusion. The purpose of the Invictus Games is to honor the courageous injured hero. Meghan and Harry do not view the efforts of veterans who are athletics as being PR. They absolutely need to let them go as it appears like Invictus has become a pap wall between Meghan and Harry ever when he first showed her office's girlfriend. In other words, they are just exploiting this platform to detract from the intended purpose of the games and garner media attention for themselves while simultaneously profiting greatly from the heroic veteran stories. Have the games even begun yet? Are the athletes going to provide any information about themselves, their origins, and the goals they have for the future? Are we going to discover anything about the competitors, for example, how long they've been training, who their biggest inspirations are? why they came to the games in the first place, and if they want to participate again. Any of them going to have the chance to talk about how they sustained their wounds or how they lost their mobility will they be permitted to display any medals they choose from the conflicts they took part in? Will they be able to explain how they obtained those medals? The public is interested in learning about the background of the contestants, Meghan and Harry are unimportant. What regiment they were in, if they were in the Army, Navy, or Air Force, etc. The Rectus Grand Megan usually has a must-be taxing, and this time it seems like Megan is giggling at the sound of money pouring into her pocket. I wonder though if anybody has asked Megan whether she is alright. It seemed pretty hypocritical to say the least for a couple who claim they only want their privacy, and it demonstrates how desperate they are. I mean, this woman through the royal family, who, by the way, welcomed her with open arms and even invited her to Christmas before they were married, under the bus, and she also threw her own father under the bus. They've already been fired by Spotify, so they're really at the mercy of those Netflix bosses, and that means they have to play happy family at all costs, even if it means leaving the invisible kids behind. It also appears that she is competing with Harry and crushing him, so why is he going along with this nonsense? Behind now Harry needs his inner child it is a survival mechanism for people who went through childhood trauma and I know Harry was raised incredibly wealthy and privileged but still he did suffer a lot of trauma when his mother passed away so he needs to show some love for that little boy inside of him in spite of perhaps not liking him because he was around when his mother was killed in that car crash now a therapist or psychiatrist can explain it a lot better than I can but without showing. Love for that little 12-year-old boy Harry will never be able to recover now he does this when he's allowed to play but Meghan prefers that he deflects and uses his trauma to get some money she is trying to deny him the support that he needs and why because she has no interest in helping him heal ha alright so on to a slightly different topic let's discuss your opinions that you shared with me. After my recent video I was talking about Meghan's speech at the Invictus Games that it was all about. Her and trying to convince everybody that those invisible children really exist and boy did you all have a lively discussion about this topic so let's talk about some of your opinions I appreciate Sue Johns, 30, 75, remark. 
How in the world can she just show up, saunter into the stage, and seize the microphone? She attempted to imply that she had to do everything herself to be on stage since she was that desperate. Henry seemed to be shocked that she can simply walk over everyone and get away with it. She had to, of course, argue over what she was wearing in an effort to elicit compassion. Isn't it typical Meghan Markle behavior? At this point, I'm not even sure why Henry is astonished. By now, he ought to be accustomed to it. She simply runs over him whenever she gets the chance. According to Wendy Storm, they will continue to lie about having the children in question until the royal family fully exposes them. They will, I have no doubt, and I truly hope the royal family will join in. We've had enough of hearing about these imaginary kids. Tracy Tomlin seems to have the same annoyance as I do. Tracy asks, so why doesn't anybody intervene to stop her? She's already so sick of her BS, yet nothing is done to stop it. It was appropriate to boo her off the stage. I'm still unsure of why anyone feels obligated to participate in this elaborate ruse. Simply be honest about your feelings for her. I don't think anyone really values her being there, but nevertheless she wasn't cheered by the audience, and turning up in clothes as she's ready to take vows, according to JPEG 9516, made the entire situation feel quite awkward. She should have been silently let off stage by security since the entire situation was weird. Yes, it is true. In fact, it was obvious that the audience wasn't thrilled to see her. You are correct, security should have immediately let her off the platform since she had no business being there. That would have been much nicer. According to Lynn 4817, I believe that Harry's kids don't exist because of claims made by two separate nannies. I mistakenly believed Meghan Markle had been excluded from the Invictus Games. How many times has she arrived at a venue after Harry, thereby yet again crashing the event? Additionally, I believed she had been revealed to be 48 years old, which is actually her actual age. Sure, Lynn. Although I've heard it previously as well, I'm not sure if I've ever really seen evidence to support that, so if anyone has it, please share. I'm sure Meghan and Harry have attempted to remove any evidence of the nanny saying that from the internet, but the internet never forgets. I agree with Sarah Hayes Gregson's statement.